It was a soggy start to the Kentucky State Fair. It kicked off this morning with the annual commodity breakfast. That breakfast highlights products important to the Commonwealth's economy and celebrates the importance of farmers and farming families. Now, it also featured many state and local leaders, including Mayor Fisher and Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles. This is an opportunity for us to say thank you to our farmers, uh, from those who grow crops and raise livestock. So as we kick off what we think is a great celebration for Kentucky agriculture. This is the 16th year for the event. And over the next 11 days, hundreds of thousands of people from around the state will descend on the fairgrounds for all of the festivities. Next Thursday, the 23rd, we're there. We'll WLKY Day. WLKY's Carrie Grace is live from the fair right now. Carrie, how's day one going? Hey, Vicki, well, day one is looking good so far. It started off a little wet, but obviously the sun came out and it's dried out. Crowd is a little slim. It is night one, but I'm sure as the sun starts to go down, the crowds will get bigger. Reed's giving you a look at this stand, selling some cheese steaks and chicken tenders and dogs and broads, all that good fair food. We've been able to talk to a lot of people today about just the tradition of the annual state fair. And while there is plenty of tradition, there's always a little something new every year for people to enjoy. Because it's a fair. It's the state fair. I mean, What's not to like? There's something for everyone at the Kentucky State Fair. That's why people like Jim Leeson come back year after year. It's exciting. And we come to see the animals, corn dogs, the people, all the counties. Uh, One of the most exciting exhibits has to be the livestock. Cattle, chickens, rabbits, goats, you name it. Bring a little country to the city for the 11 days the fair is in town. We love seeing all the livestock here at the fair. And we just enjoy uh, showing uh, our, our daughter uh, all the different animals and stuff. And uh, it's just an awesome thing to see. While the rides and food are what many people associate with the fair, that's not why everyone comes. I show cattle, so I come back every year to exhibit my animal and have fun with my family. New to the fair this year is an exhibit called Agland. It's a showcase of Kentucky's agriculture industry. The best thing about it has been able to see all the diversity of products that are grown in Kentucky and also all the different opportunities from an agriculture standpoint. But not all the food of the fair is homegrown. A lot of it is the exact opposite. What did you order? The loaded tot. What do you think about it? It's really good. It's definitely, definitely good. <laughs> so look, this is my very first time at the Kentucky State Fair, actually any state fair, and right here is a donut burger. Yes, Thank you so much. Compliments of uh, what's Savoy that? Catering. Savoy the Catering. Savoy Catering. This is the infamous donut burger. He just, um, he actually asked me if I would eat it on air. And guys, I don't know if I have the courage. This is a lot. This is a lot to take in. I, I really, I don't know. I don't want my mouth full. That could turn out to be really bad TV. Maybe I should just, mm, okay. It's good. Thank you. Delicious. Come out guys. You can get donut burgers, all kinds of things here at the Kentucky State Fair. We'll have more for you coming up later at six o'clock. For now, reporting live from the State Fair, Carrie Grace, WLKY News. <laughs> State Fair is always a fun time here in Louisville. And for the second year, an exhibit is honoring the heroes of World War I and the historic Camp Zachary Taylor. The 10,000 square foot exhibit is located in the South Wing. It features many artifacts from several donors, the National Guard and Department of Veterans Affairs. We also have some new artifacts, some new old artifacts, I should say, a hundred year old horse drawn artillery cart. We've got a Vickers machine gun, which is really heavy. We've got over 40 tons of sandbags. So you have to come out and really get a, just get in the atmosphere of what Kentucky was like in World War I. And it's right here at the State Fair. The exhibit also showcases animals and the technology, medicine, and trench life during the war. All of the exhibit halls are open until 9 o'clock each night, and Thrillville is open until midnight. We have all the fair information you need on our website, WLKY.com, and the WLKY mobile app. And once again, WLKY Day at the Fair is next Thursday. We will all be there August 23rd.